Hello and welcome back. This is the Tornado, the tier 8 Minimotor Assault Battlecruiser. Now the first battlecruiser that I did fly was the Oracle and people did tell me that this battlecruiser here is excellent for missions and excellent for PvP as well. So I'll take a look at this ship and of course on the live server I might actually decide to go with this ship but of course I still have time. Now, as with the Oracle, the ship also has this new winter skin that will be available in a couple days from now. And well, the skins look nice, I think you can get them from the new event missions. Now onto the trait description of this ship. Roll bonus, minus 95% large cannon power grid need. Advanced battlecruiser engineering bonus pro will give you minus 5% large cannon activation time. Plus 5% large scan accuracy fall off and the advanced battlecruiser command bonus per level will give you plus 5% flight velocity and plus 5% scan resolution. Overall, decent bonuses and overall nice effects so far. I like how the ship is going so far. The ship has 1 drone, 6 high slots, 3 medium slots, 5 low slots, 3 combat rigs and 3 engineering rigs which is okay, I can definitely come up with interesting fits for this ship and of course the overall, the other stats are almost similar to the rest of the assault battlecruisers that we have in the game. Well, time to show you my fits on this ship. Now, the first fit is all about range and I have the large strike cannons, they have long range they have very poor tracking and a very long activation time and they have a 10 seconds reload once ammunition gets introduced into the game. So this is the sniper fit, with these cannons you should never get close to any target and I should have around 80 to 100 km range, I'll definitely test that out. In the medium slot there is dual predator status webifers and a target painter. The webifers are mainly mainly for defense against frigates and other ship fast ships that can get too close to the ship and a target painter to increase the signature radius of your target making it easier to hit. And of course this is the test server so I have all meta level 8 items. In the low slots I put one afterburner, one adaptive invulnerability field that you can replace with a shield booster if you like, but of course that depends from situation to situation, dual gyro stabilizers and one large shield extender. Which so far is looking pretty good, I like how this is going. And the second fit revolves around the auto cannons, they will give you higher DPS but they will have short range and higher rate of fire and you can use these i think these are more safe to use because you can actually hit small fast moving targets with these especially if they are webbed and i'll definitely try both of these turrets out as time goes on okay to simulate the this fits 1179.80 dps on this tornado which is not bad could be better keep in mind this is the test server and i don't have any access to any rigs with rigs i am sure i can get that up to 1.5 to 1500 or 1.7k dps but 1179 is decent and so far it is performing really good. Okay, now to simulate the fit with the artillery. 700, 735 dps on the turrets, which is not bad. They are primarily aimed and designed for the alpha damage. That means they can do some really big damage per shot. Well then, I think it will be time to roll this ship out in missions and let's see what it can do. 
All right, well, these are the new hard missions. And I am 75, 74 kilometers away from these enemy ships. And well, let's open fire. And well, that was a nice hit. Almost 5,000 damage per shot at 70, 71 kilometers. That is really far away. And so far, I like how I like the range on these large artillery guns. They sure do a lot of damage per hit. Now one thing that definitely will have to be improved is the activation time or the cycle. You almost have to wait 20 seconds for these turrets to farm, which is a lot. But the damage trade-off in the end kind of pays off. Of course, faster activation time is always good. So on the live server, when I get this ship, I'll definitely make sure that it can fire a lot faster. Now, with the large artillery guns, everything is all about range. So if you have anything get too close to you, you might be in trouble because these turrets have very poor tracking. And of course, I have webifers for that case, but even with webifers, I think hitting small fast moving targets can be a problem. The target painter might help because it will actually increase the signature radius of the target. But if the target is too close and too fast, then you are not going to be able to hit anything. So always keep range and always keep an eye on the distance to your enemy ships. Well, this blackbird is getting destroyed. Uh, the hit, the damage per hit is definitely satisfying. And the effects on these turrets is also done very well. I have to say, they did a fantastic job with the model design and overall with the graphics. The game does look very pretty. Okay, that Drake is not having a good day over there. At 70 kilometers, these turrets are absolutely, des absolutely destroying these enemy ships. Okay, let's slowly focus on that Moa Guardian. That is the next ship to be to be destroyed. Okay. Now. The other tier 9 and tier 8 ships I think are not available, all tier 8s are available but the tier 9 cover tops I think is not, that is one ship that I was, that I did want to try out but unfortunately it is not available yet so I'll have to wait for that to be released. Okay, shield is down on this Moa Guardian. Now, instead of the invulnerability field, you can place a shield booster or you can place pretty much any other module. The large shield extender is there mainly for defense. You can activate it if things go wrong and it should offer a decent shield boost for a short amount of time, but that short amount of time should be enough to get your ship to safety. Fifth, uh, I, I think I have 15,000 in shield at the moment, which is not bad. Could be higher of course, but I think that's a decent, that's a decent number. And for, in a defense aspect, that is more than enough. Okay, on to the next targets. This, these are Amar targets and this cover tops, this interdictor actually got hit 7,000. Oh my god, that was a that was a massive hit on on that ship. Let's focus on the the stars. Now let's see how how these turrets are going to let's see how these turrets are going to hit a small target from 70 kilometers. I think this would be this would be interesting. Okay, let's see, well, it kind of did hit, but it is more of a graze, still it did a lot of damage to a small target. Sh 
should te technically one shot frigates and I'll definitely try that out and in the second shot the destroyer was the destroyer was eliminated okay now let's focus on on that omen and that was a big hit <laughs> that was actually a massive hit on on this cruiser still not as massive as the hit on the arbitrator that thing was absolutely destroyed almost one hit actually which was interesting okay one more one more shot should destroy this okay time to target that oracle now speaking of the speaking of the oracle that ship is is good it is very good i like it one problem that i did encounter with the oracle is the capacitor the large lasers use a lot of the energy to to fire and with that ship i kind of did run into a capacitor problem in the long run so in that ship you can place a large capacitor battery it should technically help a lot but comparing the oracle to the tornado i think that the tornado is a lot more cap stable especially considering the fact that the these turrets don't use energy and that is a very good thing that means you can save your energy for something else and you're not cap dependent on your turrets to fire which is not the case with the oracle the oracle is dependent on the capacitor to keep its weapons running and if the oracle runs out of capacitor it runs out of dps and it runs out of the turret so that is one major difference between the ships now range wise i think this ship has more range it definitely does a lot more damage per per hit but again that is one of the traits for this ship so far i'm kind of not kind of conflicted but i honestly don't know which ship to get both the oracle and the tornado are fantastic ships still have to try out the other the other two naga and talos these two use railguns but at the moment definitely my two favorite assault battlecruisers are the Oracle and Tornado. Might actually in the end decide to just get them both. I don't know. I still have time to decide what to do with that. Okay, let's focus on that Celestis, which almost, almost got one shot. Now I forgot to mention something about the skills current skills that I have on this ship are maxed out the battlecruiser's skills are maxed out the skills for the large turrets are also maxed out so this is kind of what we would get on the live server if you had all of your skills maxed out its DPS is very similar to the DPS of the faction cruisers on my phantasm i have 1000 dps round that means with the with the large auto guns this ship has 100 more dps than my phantasm i did test both ships out with maxed out skills of course okay let's focus on this brutix because it is after all one of the next targets 
Okay, and the, tar the, the target painter is actually helping out a lot. The target painter is doing a fantastic job. You definitely have to use a target painter while flying these ships because it will help a lot at hitting the smaller targets. Now I did not test out dual target painters, I have no idea if that works good at all, but I'll definitely try that out. But so far the single target painter is doing a is doing an amazing job. Okay, two more ships are left on the field to be destroyed. So far well so far I did have fun flying this. This test was good. This test was actually very good. And can't wait to can't wait to actually get these ships. I will be tier 8 in a couple days from now. It did kind of take some time for me to get to tier 8 because I did use the the normal Omega I think. Didn't go for the combo, I did go for the ordinary one. And well, since I have combo now and I'll have combo for some time, I'll definitely be fast with the skills. Okay, and let's destroy this last target that's left. And well, an absolutely a very good experience with the tornado, I have to admit. Couple more. Well, let's see actually how many hits will take to shoot down this thorax. I think, yeah, I think two more hits will do the job. <laughs> These threats do a lot of damage. Will be interesting to see how the type C turrets will perform on this ship. As you know me, I'll definitely go and get all C type stuff for these assault battle cruisers because well, why not? Well, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. This ship is an amazing ship. I definitely I definitely had fun flying the tornado. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.